Radio on the iPhone, totally awesome, or a giant bag of sucks? Stay tuned to find out. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by the HP DV7T with Beats Audio and the smart Intel Core i5 processor. Patrick Norton here. Welcome to App Judgment, the best source of mobile app reviews on the internet. I hate radio. Seriously. I love MP3 and MP3 players because they meant I'd never have to listen to W Cruddy Music FM or K-Sucktastic Sounds ever again. And hey, no commercials. But then, driving to Colorado, I heard an awesome radio station around midnight outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. Tad out of range for the FM radio in the kitchen back in California. Enter TuneIn Radio, $1.99 in the App Store, four and a half out of five stars with close to 700 ratings. Can radio on the iOS be this good? It's a pretty simple app. Unless you have a Radiotime.com account, you'll want to go straight to the Browse button. If you let TuneIn Radio use your location, you'll find a list of local radio stations at the top of the page. You can choose categories like talk, sports, or music, or my favorite so far, by location. Pick a region of the globe, the country, the state, and start sampling, or use the search. In lots of ways, this reminds me of DXing with my old shortwave radio, except of course this app pulls radio over the internet feeds, not over an antenna. So you might have problems, say, searching for a favorite show if you don't speak the local language, or if the show isn't streamed online, and some radio stations still aren't online. I'm going to have to look up when the Prairie Home Companion is broadcast and try and record it, because you can't download it on demand. This is radio, right? Not the internet. Or except it's radio on the internet. Anyhow, this is where TuneIn starts to really rock, like your MP3 collection, or really suck like most of the FM stations here in San Francisco. Find out why after the break. So, Annie, have you seen this new HP DV7 T? I have. It's awesome. It's great. It's got the Intel Core i5 processor, so you can watch your HD movies, and it can handle all of your songs in your music library, and you can play the latest games on it. Yes, and not only that, it has a built-in subwoofer optimized for studio quality sound. Yes, and on top of that, you've got the brilliant HP display and a True Vision HD webcam for crystal clear video chat with your friends. That's right, and on the outside, it has a beautiful brushed aluminum case. So, thank you, HP and Intel, for sponsoring App Judgment. Thank you. One of the nice things about iOS 4.whatever is multitasking. Case in point, I'm in TweetDeck right now with my radio station streaming in the background. And I can record that station by hitting the record button in the corner, at least if I'm allowed to. Case in point, Prairie Home Companion on demand, no recording. And recording is only going to happen while the app is running. So unless I remember to wake up and fire up TuneIn Radio in time for the next broadcast, I'm not going to record it. That's not entirely true. There is a record timer option, but I can't set it for a specific date and time, just a day or days of the week. Great if your favorite DJ is on five days, not so cool if they're only on one day. So my radio problems aren't quite fixed by TuneIn Radio, but for listening to stations that are online or exploring the sounds of different countries, this is pretty cool. And I haven't even gotten into the integration between Radiotime.com, the radio website that's tied in with TuneIn. Let's just say you can find a lot of radio really fast, like that station I liked in Utah, and turn it into presets. Those show up as bookmarks in TuneIn really, really easily. It's definitely worth checking out, though apparently deleting TuneIn Radio accounts can kill your presets in radio time, so be careful. Let's talk about the pros. Radio stations on your iPhone, a simple interface, easy access to music from around the world, easy recording, and it's fun. The cons, it's streaming audio, so the audio quality is what it is. It could use more recording options, and it has to be on your record. TuneIn Radio was an awesome reminder that there's still a lot of great radio stations around the US and around the world, and streaming them over the iOS is a lot more convenient than stealing my wife's tabletop radio. It'll get me into less trouble. My biggest problem with TuneIn Radio is wanting the convenience of iTunes or a download site to get exactly what I want right now. But that's not really radio, is it? Judgment. Radio stations on your iPhone for under two bucks. Download, people. This is an easy one. TuneIn Radio for the iPhone. Good stuff. Again, I'm Patrick Norton. If you enjoyed this or you have an app you think we should know about here at App Judgment, Twitter me at Patrick Norton or send the team an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. You can also find App Judgment on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and as always, you can visit us at our home on revision3.com slash appjudgment. I'm off to go tune in some more radios. We'll see you next time. <laughs>